and welcome back to gold rush 2.0 so today ignore the mud on our face don't don't worry about that uh i actually have something very exciting to bring to uh to bring to the series and that is that recently again i can't share most of this info just because it will get metagamed it will get abused etc 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 but long story short we are now able to get some of the illegal ammo yes this is something that we've been working for or working on for literally months weeks i don't even know at this point we've been working on this for long time but i finally got a method to be able to get us some of the high velocity just high velocity at the moment hopefully we'll be able to figure out some more in the future but i finally got a way for us to get some high velocity some of those illegal ammo types that we deal with mostly over in 1.0 that was pretty much our main profession until of course we were caught by rico and we went for that whole entire storyline which honestly led up to a lot of stuff but a lot of stuff has been riding on this and uh we're finally able to get some now we do need a couple things uh the way we get it is you know obviously i'm not going to say everything out but basically we give a couple ingredients to a couple people we wait a day or two and then we're able to get those uh ammo back so the main thing we need is gunpowder uh some of the other ingredients i'm able to get on my own but we need gunpowder and that's something that no one has really found out yet so that is going to be the main goal going forward uh at least until we find that and we can start hopefully getting some trades in getting some of that illegal ammo and then of course using that to obviously you know have a little bit of a say uh right now we're moving with a lot of gangs we're talking to a lot of gangs and we don't have too much to offer besides us of course our location being in mexico and us having a lot of contacts of people around the county so now having this ammo we finally have something legitimate to offer the people so uh, i'm gonna be getting in for meeting with gonzalo and hopefully a couple more people of the gang we're gonna be having a little talk and uh, i'm excited to bring them this news and excited to hopefully today uh figure out where this gunpowder is so hopefully we're gonna be able to find it today i will see you guys once we're having that meeting with Gonzalo and hopefully the rest of the gang um everyone's kind of been a little busy lately so I guess we'll see but at the very least we're going to be talking to Gonzalo about it and hopefully trying to find gunpowder today either way I guess we'll see in just a little bit hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series are excited for finally us getting some illegal ammo it's been a long time and we've been wanting to work on this for forever so I'm glad we're finally able to I'll see you guys again once in a little bit when we're having a talk with everyone and I'll see you once we're discussing these uh, very new opportunities we have and how we're going to treat it. Five minutes later. Alrighty, so literally like five minutes after that, we actually received a telegram from uh, our current contacts for snow over in Guarma from Mr. Donald. Our telegrams will actually hopefully open up here any second. And what it says is a meeting, of course. Uh, greetings, Zaville. Hope you and all your boys are doing all right. We have next batch of salt ready for you guys ready to pick up. There are 80 units and price will be 100 per. Resale profit will be a bit higher. We are expecting big changes in price for next batch because of some conditions that we can talk about in person if you and your people will be available around 7 7 april at 5 p.m est which is today in just about two hours we can have a small meeting in gorma and do an exchange please send a telegram back if you or any of your people will manage to meet us today so we're gonna probably go have a talk with gonzalo uh so we have that on the docket as well we have a lot of stuff uh to figure out today we're gonna try and keep the fact that we're able to get this illegal ammo now on the down low until we figure it out you know with the whole gang what we want to do with it but uh we'll definitely have a nice meeting over there in gorma with with them grab some probably more snow i believe gonzalo sold the whole batch last time so hopefully we're going to be able to do the same this time i guess we'll see though we have a lot of meetings to do a lot of stuff to discuss either way i'll see you guys once we were one discussing finally the ammo stuff or two you know of course making our way over to visit donald and the hateful and getting our next delivery of snow i think we need to do this in the record time because uh... but we gotta get going very shortly yeah 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 See, we talk way too long. We really need to shorten these fucking talks, but uh, don't yeah, worry. Let's, let's go. This will be okay. a short one. All right. So, um, right as you guys know, uh, Gonzalo informed me a little bit ago that there was a, a war out breaking in Saint Denis between quite a couple groups and quite a large one at that. Uh, obviously, that's gonna make us a lot of money in supplying us the snow or supplying them that. So, I've uh, it's not delayed anymore. I found a fella basically, and I'm able to uh, trade him some goods involving the uh, gunpowder. And he's able to give me high velocity rounds. Congratulations. Oh. And besides one other person that I've heard of, I believe I'm the only one who has found this fella. Um, I want to keep everything quiet, as quiet as I can. So for now, I think this should stay between us until we can, you know, figure out how expensive it is to actually get and such. 
um and of course all the resources that go into it to uh, now again i have no idea where to get gunpowder so that's gonna be number one priority unless you all have heard of that before yes i feel though i have one thing to say i have a lot of free time uh, in the next coming days so if you need anything done any research any trial any any shit that you need done just let me know man oh yeah well we're gonna have to figure that all out but so before we go forward so we need what's, gunpowder. So what's the barrier now so it's, it's, gunpowder is, is the, the next stage right oh, yes yes i believe all the other stuff he uh he wants i have but i do not have the gunpowder did any of us any seen anyone with it at all? Mm, Anywhere no, where we can start no, searching? Not yet. The, the good thing about this is, we don't need a fucking machine to make gunpowder. You just make it in a bowl on a table. It doesn't matter. It's just you mix the ingredients together and you put it in a shell casing. It works. The problem is getting the ingredients, though. See? But uh, after tomorrow, you don't know amigos. about the table. You're not certain. Yeah, you're not certain. Yeah, the thing is, the ingredients shouldn't be the problem. Actually, we, I think we we got the ingredients. Uh, we just <laughs> the recipe is the problem. Well, amigo, normally you just put it in a mixing bowl. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but... normally. Anyway, guys, we're gonna be late, so. Uh... Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, we gotta get yeah, going soon. But uh, I, I think once we make that, uh, that's gonna make us, um, you know, obviously a lot of money during the war. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Alrighty. There we go. Ammo is gonna make us insane amounts of money, and we finally get to get into our old trade. But uh, either way, let's oh, head over to Gorma, get to our meeting finally. Alrighty, here we go. Right on time, actually. A minute late, but fashionably late. Probably over today. Mm -hmm. Pretty much yeah, right on I mean, time. That's that's good to see all of you together. Yeah. Oh. We actually had to deal with something and just go back on time. That's actually good. So yeah, I mean we can we can head up to the house now. I have all the stuff up there. I think we're so. missing one more person. Okay. Yeah, we can wait for them. Yeah, since yeah, we're we'll meet, go back uh, we'll waiting go. for them, um, I have not met some of you. So can can you guys introduce yourselves? My name is Tom. Yeah, a good round my... of introductions would be nice, uh, amigos. <laughs> not a part of me. This is Jose on my on the left side of me, and uh, this is Zane on the right side of me. This guy over here is Amos, and uh, that fellow over there is Charlie. Well, over here we have the chica, that's Sonia. Behind there is a fellow called Mario. This is Ojos, Seville, you already know. Felix, myself, Schwab, and Chucho, and we're waiting for Donny. All right, nice to meet you, all of you. And there she's in the As well, good to be on the island again. It's always nice coming over. Say, the sea's always good there. Howdy, fellas. Howdy. Hello. Hello. Danny. How are you all doing? Doing alright, doing alright. Alright, I think we're gonna head up to the house and have a talk there a little bit more formally. So, uh, you guys might have heard about the situation between uh, Irish and um, Italians now. We sure did. Oh yeah, most certainly. So, now we have some information from, uh, you know, trusted people that Poor genies did not keep their word, and uh, they are, you know, after that meeting that we had, uh, they are still making some uh, cocaine, even though they said if they would need some, they would buy them from us. But, you know, still need to have um, several meetings about that. But most likely, I mean, if there's gonna be a side peak in this war, we really will, you know, stay on Irish side. I don't See. know how is it, how it is looking for you guys, but. Just, you know, wanted to let you know about this. Yeah, we have Because, you know, we, we had uh, several meetings with poor genius already, and uh, all the meetings ended up with uh, them lying to our faces. And I don't know how, if they think that we are stupid or something, but, you know, you know, as, as, as you might know, actions have consequences, so they, they might, yeah. you know, feel. Well, as far as our allegiance go, too. they only really lie with you guys at the moment, uh, seeing as you're the supplier of. Uh a much coveted uh, uh, substance so if you call upon us we'll probably respond or we will respond but uh, as far as uh, any other situation goes uh, we'd like to stay neutral in this whole matter because uh, that way we can supply both sides unless Thank you guys are also business. in it mm -hmm. then we will only supply to the side that you guys pick of course yeah just let us know if that blacklist got updated with any new names or whatever let's see Alright, so as I said, still need to have several meetings before that, but 
as soon as uh, I'll have a final decision on that, I'll let you guys know about it, of course. Yep. All right. As long as you keep uh, giving us a fair deal on the cocaine, we'll uh, we'll try to like sell everything and uh, get back to you with uh, with more money to buy more. That's mm -hmm. uh, kind of the arrangement that we see fit. We want to keep uh, the relationship healthy, right? No, no, I do have a question about uh, the pricing again. <laughs> in the last meeting, I came up with something, but I'm going to come up again. Uh, so uh, we're, we're going up on the prices now, and. Um, what you told us at the dock there is that you foresee that uh, on the on the next batch immediately we're gonna have a raise already, and um, I mean as long as our margin gives us project uh, profit and as long as as the price you set up is not too high for the for the final customer and for me, uh, it's perfectly fine. I mean if you want to charge us 500 as long as we can sell it for 600 that, that that's fine. Uh, the more money you make it's 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 better for me. Okay, but. Uh, my my concern is uh of raising it week after week after week after week and like uh them coming back to us like uh what's the story like when is it gonna stop or why um, you keep charging us so more and more this good question to be honest like as, as i said on the first meeting that we had you know we are kind of taking a look on the market how it works and all and uh, according to that we are changing the price but now we were actually going to keep this price to 100 and uh, 150 on the market but yesterday we found out that you know material cost is actually increased and increased with uh, a lot okay. that's why nope. we have to increase it for that the next bet but you know that's i said 140 but you know like it won't go above 140 it can be like 120 or 130 but you know selling price still will, will be 200 for you guys so you know you will still make a good profit out of it yeah all right it's just the only the only concern is that to try and stabilize the, uh, mm -hmm. the price so that uh, you know the customers can understand what they're willing for mm -hmm. right because uh, right now there's probably people that uh, they bought for uh, 125 and they're probably thinking okay this guy's gonna get more so they, they save up some money they, they they do their maths and they they allocate a specific amount for for the product they want to buy and when they come to us we think we're gonna tell them oh sorry it's more and then next week they, they do the same maths again and they come back come back and oh it's more you know and what mm -hmm. I wanted to what I wanted to achieve is that uh, you reach to a sweet spot that it's good for you uh, and give us obviously a margin that it's good for us but we should uh, stabilize this uh, this price so that it's uh, as reliable as possible to them and they, they, they don't think that um, that we're playing with them you know yes of course I mean I really don't want to you know like change prices prices in every week I was really going to keep the price to 150 but only yesterday or day before i think we found out that the yeah you know the production producing... scale changed yeah, yeah. anyway uh guys yeah enough about that let's wrap this Just up well, it's been a pleasure yes Bye. as always thank you likewise likewise always yep. nice visiting for sure gotta come back oh. and for a little vacation or something enjoy no enjoy the island a little bit no offense yeah lovely to meet you all Adios. Adios. Let's get this there we go. That was a freaking. That was quite the productive meeting, to be honest. Gracias, amigo. Oh, so many people look so cool. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. Amigo. Gracias. So cool having so many people. The gang is finally expanding. Look how many freaking this people is a very we nice got. Beach to the left. Oh, it's nice to see. Los Pocos is freaking uh, expanding. Let's, let's go. That was the perfect and meeting, though. That went really well, I think. Alrighty, so if you guys have noticed, of course, from that meeting and of course us leaving the meeting, there are quite a couple new members inside of the gang now. Uh, since the last video, obviously, we have expanded quite a little bit. Now, I did already know of, I believe, Mario and Ohos from a while ago, but there definitely were quite a couple new ones. And because of that, we did actually end up having a meeting with them, you know, obviously discussing it and meeting some of them. Uh, these are kind of going to be the recruits for the time being uh, in the Los Pocos gang, but I'm excited to see where they go. But without further ado, I'll let you meet them all. Well, Seville, you might know Ohos already. He uh, served in the, the Federales. Nice, sir. See, of course. I mean, I think I met her once or twice now. Well, yes, 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 I believe a couple of times. Uh, Sonia has a mutual contact <coughs> Sorry. with Tom. Okay, and, okay. Uh, Tom was very charmed by her, but uh, she's a very charming lady. And she's also very resourceful. So if you ever need uh, any information, uh, maybe reach out. All right, all right. But there we have uh, Donnie. Donnie has a uh, export license in Mexico, and uh, we were very uh, 
appreciative uh, of the way he conducted himself around Felix, and uh, so we uh, yeah, we recruited him. Oh, yes. sir, yes, sir. He has a well, trainer. Yep. Nice to meet you, mate. Our latest uh, acquisition is Mario, is an associate of uh, Sonia. Well, so I think I've ran into Mario quite a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we've quite had a quite a couple of talks, please. There's also Manuel Hernandez. Or he says Manuel yeah. Hernandez. <laughs> my brother. Exactly. Fucking nutcase, but a uh, good shot. And, uh, and he's my brother. I, we've been together for like 15 years. I trust him with my. I, I trust him my wife. So to okay, speak. well, brother, yours are all trustful, elderly. Yeah. Which one of the three? The one uh, with the poison, the one with the crabs, or the one with the hatchet to their head? No, the only one. <laughs> oh, Jesus the, the, only, the only one that is alive right now. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Oh, they don't live well, very long. I'm an unfortunate <laughs> man, okay? I'm an unfortunate man. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate. Like the third episode we got robbed, I'm pretty sure. That's alright. The next the next wife we set you up with is gonna be the one that poison, poisons all her husbands, or her husbands all die. <laughs> just, just do the crap test first, and if it, if, it, if it passes the test, then you can introduce it to me. Otherwise, uh, I'm not into that shit anymore. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm happy to meet y'all, and I'm, uh, I'm excited for the future. I think I think uh, something real good is going to be coming. So I'm excited for everything. And uh, again, pleased to meet y'all. Mario, I've known you for a little while, so, you know. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. But yes. Pleased to meet y'all new ones. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Yeah, pleasure, 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 pleasure. Me too, mate. Well, first person. Uh... And after meeting everyone, we discussed a couple different things. None of them too important. Some talking about just some small lower level swamp burb stuff. Some a little bit talking about how the sheriff's offices interact and such. Nothing too interesting or important for the story. But that's about it for this little meeting. We finally got a little bit more introduced to everyone more in the gang that have been recently recruited. Definitely excited to have some more people and uh, excited to see where the Los Pocos goes. But let's move on from here and I'll see you guys in just a second or two. Alrighty, so we definitely had a lot of progress today. Of course, the most exciting news, of course, being our access to ways to finally get some illegal ammo types that we've been trying to get for literally since pretty much 2.0 dropped. We've been trying to figure out and get it. Now, the next step for Zaveel and for probably the gang in general is to get our hands on some gunpowder. Hopefully, figure that out. So, of course, in the future, we're finally able to get some consistent supplies of this illegal ammo. Now, we still a lot we don't know about it we have no idea what the price is going to be what the total cost of ingredients is going to be or you know of course anything too much as we actually haven't got any yet but hopefully we're going to be figuring out the gunpowder soon and getting our first batch then i guess continuing from there seeing where it goes i think it's going to be a huge business for us but of course we can't start it without the gunpowder so we're going to figure that out uh, hopefully we're going to figure that out in the next episode or very soon but either way hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did as always make sure to leave a like and if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.